Protesters pouring into an Upper East Side subway station this evening, calling for charges after Jordan Neely died during a chokehold on the subway earlier this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Arthur Chien. The protests escalating tonight as activists demand justice. Videos show some jumping onto subway tracks earlier this evening. Let's go right over to Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini, who joins us live from the Upper East Side with the latest on this. Stephanie. Arthur, what we're seeing is growing outrage, mounting anger over the death of Jordan Neely. Today, inside this uh, subway station, it got out of control. Protesters were clashing with police. Activists say this is an ongoing story of injustice and racism. Protesters clashing with police inside the Lexington Avenue 63rd Street subway station in Manhattan this evening. They are demanding justice over the chokehold death of Jordan Neely, calling it a lynching. The message to law enforcement is very simple. Jordan Neely deserves justice. And when they chose not to arrest his killer, they sent a very clear and loud message to us that they that they thought Jordan Neely's life doesn't matter. Neely was on the F train on Monday, May 1st, reportedly harassing riders and possibly having a mental health episode. When witnesses and police say 24-year-old Marine veteran and college student Daniel Penny reportedly restrained him by putting him in a chokehold. Police were called to the Broadway Lafayette Street subway station and ultimately learned that chokehold killed Neely. His death ruled a homicide by the medical examiner. The Manhattan District Attorney is now deciding whether or not to bring charges. We are seeing the protests in the streets of Manhattan grow, and today, American civil rights and social justice activist Al Sharpton labeled this all a repeated story of racism and injustice. We rode and went on the side of the road to the bathroom to get to Washington to stand up. And here you are 60 years later being choked on subways. Activists want the investigation accelerated in a statement Daniel Penny said when Mr. Neely began aggressively threatening Daniel Penny and the other passengers, Daniel, with the help of others, acted to protect themselves until help arrived. Daniel never intended to harm Mr. Neely and could not have foreseen his untimely death. Neely was 30 years old. He was once best known for impersonating Michael Jackson. Video dating back years is on social media. He was experiencing homelessness and witnesses said he was shouting about his situation right before he was restrained with that chokehold on that train. Police say he had a history of mental illness and more than 40 priors, including assault. The outreach is growing, but honestly, black people in this city and in this country have been outraged for a very long time. This is just a very small part of a much larger issue. And the larger issue is here that we are tired of screaming into the wind that Black Lives Matter. The NYPD and the Manhattan District Attorney asking for more witnesses to come forward. We reached out to the MTA in a statement. We were told the protesters caused them operation delays. The MTA reminding the public tonight jumping on tracks can be life-threatening. Arthur, back to you inside.